Next, we're going to talk about the difference between a monotube shock and a twin tube shock. Now, every shock absorber offered by Bill Stein for a light truck application is a monotube high pressure gas shock. And here's the mechanical differences between the two. From the outside, you can see they look relatively similar. But as I start taking these apart, you'll notice that they're actually rather different. When I pull out the guts of both of them, you'll see the monotube shock. You see a piston and a piston rod. But when I pull out the guts of the twin tube, you see another tube, which hence the name twin tube. When I take the actual piston or rod assembly out of the twin tube, it will reveal what's going on between the two. And as you will see, piston diameter is a lot larger in the monotube shock. The oil capacity in the monotube shock absorber is obviously a lot more as well. The Bilstein, as I said before, was a monotube high pressure gas shock. Now, most people think that when they hear gas shock that they're full of gas, but that is not actually true. Every shock works on a hydraulic principle where a piston travels through hydraulic fluid. In a monotube shock, what Bill Sign has created is a gas chamber and a dividing piston that separates the gas from the oil. So you can see it is a hydraulically operated shock, except for the oil is placed under direct pressure. And what this does is it keeps the oil consistent. Now if I remove the pressure, this will demonstrate what's going on in a hydraulic twin tube damper. And as you see, as I cycle, the piston rod in and out, the oil that is not placed under pressure cavitates. When the shock is cavitated, your performance loss is exponential and obviously you're going to have a lot floatier feel out of the vehicle and no consistency whatsoever. Now if I pump this up, you can see how quickly the cavitation goes away. In this demonstration, when I'm using air, in the Bilstein shock absorbers, we use nitrogen gas. And you can see as I cycle it a few times, the air bubbles essentially go away.